Hi guys, how you doing? This is uh, Kevin uh, with KKOA or Kevin Kim Outdoor Adventure. And today I am going to review a product uh, that everybody should have. Have some type of uh, surge protector or surge guard. Uh, this particular one that, that I have is uh, Southwire, the, the surge guard. It is a 30 amp amp. Uh, the model number is 44260. Southwire also makes one that is for 50 amp, that is 44270. So depending on what it, your uh, setup is, whether it's a 30 amp uh, RV camper or if it's a 50 amp, definitely highly recommend. So we're going to talk a little bit about some of the key features uh, of the surge guard and do kind of a little bit of a, of a review. On the inside, pretty self-explanatory. You have uh, just pretty much like a surge protector uh, that, that goes in line with your power. Uh, this particular one uh, is, is one that doesn't have a reset. It actually is uh, will protect uh, against many different things. It'll determine whether there's open open circuit or if there's an open ground if there's reverse polarity and if there's if the power and everything's good normal indicator would be for it to be power on to have two green lights that, that'll be here uh, this will protect uh, any kind of power surges any uh, you know off the wall power if you have lightning strikes or anything of, of that nature uh, this will kind of protect against it it acts basically kind of like a fuse or a circuit breaker in line but once it's uh, once it does trip or it does burn, it actually breaks the connection. You'll have to have it replaced. So before we get started, please don't forget if you like us doing re these reviews and like us doing some of these how tos, please don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, and ring that little bell. So uh, anyway, appreciate all the comments and everything. So let's go ahead and continue on. In the box also, uh, looks like there's just some insulation instructions. Uh, and a little bit of the warranty information. So it does kind of tell you a little bit about what the, what each one of the lights, indicator lights and everything that, that they do. So not a whole lot of uh, information, but it just pretty much, if it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. So uh, this particular model is, is fairly inexpensive. I think you could pick it up for about $60, $70 off of Amazon or uh, online camping world or several other locations okay the one thing you want to check prior to uh, connecting uh, up the surge protector to the the power first you want to do is you want to make sure that your breakers are all turned off prior to doing it then go ahead and take your Go ahead and take your surge protector, and since I have a 30 amp, we'll go ahead and plug it into the 30 amp plug. You want to make sure first, before you even do anything, you want to verify that all the lights are off, and that there's not indicating any kind of lights or anything uh, that you see on the indicators right here or here. If it shows any kind of fault or anything that, that's in there, it'll, it'll light up red which will show reverse polarity. So what it's doing is the breaker is turned off and as you got it plugged in, it's showing voltage, which is showing reverse polarity. So it basically shows that there's voltage that's on the neutral. So and, and it's not turned on. And it's not turned on, no, it's not gonna So power. that's why you check it yeah. for those. So, but I hooked my meter up to it and it's not, so I mean, it does turn green, but it's still showing a little bit of a red turning green so it's kind of got like a red green light okay so I think we'll probably be okay so it's showing volts on the neutral and the neutral should should have nothing so now what see that's showing 120 So it's going both ways. See, there's 
showing volts, 2.4 volts. So it's not enough to do anything. It's not enough to do anything, but there is voltage. There's voltage being, there's definitely voltage that's, that's, that's being led into for the neutral side. So it's enough to cause, when we plug it in, it's causing it to show that there's voltage. And on the neutral or the ground, there shouldn't be any voltage or anything. PSA, get a surge protector. Yes, so, <laughs> and also uh, make sure you have a meter. Uh, Cause I mean, you can kind of tell what's going on in the circuits over here. Uh, I don't think it's enough voltage because we got 120. I don't think it's enough. It's gonna cause any damage, only two volts or anything. So it should be fine. We shouldn't have the issue, but it still was a, was a red flag once we- Absolutely. Uh, so yep. always check that stuff and because if you had one where you have a lot of voltage or it really is reversed, then it will uh, fry your boards. You know, it can fry your boards, it can fry your motor on your air conditioners, it can cost you hundreds and hundreds of dollars and everything else that be down. Absolutely. So. All right. All right. As you can see in the video, uh, we did run into a place that actually did have an issue and have a fault and kind of what we had to go about doing that. Now, once you've verified everything is good, you'll go hands in, you'll turn on the breaker. And you should see that it has green lights, which this does which you can see on the surge that, that it does show green light and it shows that we got power on. So right now power is, is hot right here. This point, go ahead and shut it back off. And now you're ready to connect up your, your power to your RV. Turn it back on and just verify Verify that you have good lights and verify that the power indicator light is on. If for some reason, if for some reason you do not have that power indicator light, uh, you need to go ahead and check your surge suppressor uh, because more likely it had tripped. One thing about the Southwire uh, surge guard, it actually is only kind of like a one time use thing. Uh, you want to make sure that it's that it does protect. If it does trip, and it and it does trip out, and there's problems or anything else, it, all your problems will stop and it'll, it'll hit right there. Uh, it does have kind of like an internal fuse or uh, safety device that will go ahead and kill power. At that point, you will need to go ahead and replace the surge guard with with a new one because it's kind of a one-time use. However. Uh, it's much better to have, if you have surge guard or have lightning strikes or anything else, to take this out, because that's a much cost effective thing, than it would be to, to replace the boards, uh, several boards on your RV. You've got your air conditioner board, you have you know, your refrigerator board, your hot water heater. You got several other uh, different boards and electronics uh, throughout your RV. Uh, and, and those boards can start to add up being hundreds and several hundreds of dollars just to replace them. So it's, it's a good idea to definitely make sure that anytime you have power, especially going to areas you don't know, that you do have uh, some type of surge protector or surge guard. So now, uh, once you're done, you just turn the, the power off and now you're able to disconnect. It has, it has a nice little convenient handle on this to allow it to pull off. Most of them uh, aren't too difficult to pull off, but it does give you that little extra. The one thing I find about this, this also has a pull off here on the back side for this side, but it is extremely difficult, extremely difficult to pull off on this end. So just gotta kind of wiggle it until it comes off. But that's pretty much it for the, the Southwire surge guard. Uh, this is the 30 amp. So uh, once you're done and everything else, put it away.